hello friends this is the another video on uh, machine learning so till now we have seen about uh, a lot of machine learning concepts and uh, we have grasped the actual concept of machine learning the type of different machine learning system and everything so as a part of uh, that uh, another uh, tutorial series i have uh, started one uh, quiz video so in this tutorial we will check our knowledge that how much we have grasped about the uh, machine learning uh, concept so let's uh, start with the one first question okay so in this question uh, it has been given the input and uh, output so the very first question is uh, you have been given a credit history of the individual person so something like uh, uh, the amount of transaction it's due uh, the time at which it pays its uh, uh, credit card uh, bill uh, how much amount of point every time it earns how much uh, shopping it will do so this way actually input has been given and there are two problems actually the first output will be based on watching the cad credit history of individual person the output will be will company provide another credit card or not that is the first output and you need to predict that whether this type of problem lies inside this regression kind of problem or the classification kind of problem and the another problem is the it it has been given the credit history of individual person and you need to predict the credit score of that person as a output so you need to define that whether this kind of problem is regression problem or the classification problem so pause the video for a second and uh, just think about it in which category of this supervised learning this kind of problem lies and i'll give you answer okay so i think you how might be figured it out so let's try to uh, understand that where this problem lies so if you see this uh, first and second question in the both the questions we have been given this credit history the amount of transaction and all everything the individual person do but output uh, this the type of problem regression and classification it depends on the output the way you provide the output of the system way you define the output of the system so very first question if you see whether will provide the another credit card or not so it is kind of binary decision per company has to take so it is a output will be a discrete step either it will provide it or not so it's a very much discrete step so we have seen in our earlier lecture of uh, different kind of machine learning system like a uh, sup uh, supervised and supervised it has a regression and classification kind of thing so we have seen that if the output is a discrete step or a uh, finite amount of dif discrete step in this case it's a binary just giving credit card or not giving credit card that decision only need to take so this kind of problem lies inside this classification problem so now let's see the second one that is a credit score credit score is uh, nothing but the continuous value it can lie between 0 to 100 might be whatever the company has defined based on their protocol but it's a continuous value so this kind of continuous value lies inside this uh, regression problem so this lies inside the regression kind of problem the first one is a classification second one is the uh, regression problem because the credit score is a continuous value and this whether to lend another credit card or not to the particular person based on the history of that particular person's credit history this kind of problem lies inside the classification problem so i hope you must have figured it out if you don't understand anything i have given in description the video link where i will provide the information about the regression and the classification how that supervised learning uh, works so you can go through it and you can thoroughly understand the meaning of and what is the difference between regression and a classification uh, let's try to uh, grasp the another questions uh, which is exactly same kind of problem and you need to figure it out whether this kind of problem lies inside this regression or a classification problem so the very first question uh, first problem it has been given the phase of some man it looks like man but we can call it as a person so uh, then output will be the predict the height of this uh, person and in a second case it has been given a phase of some girl or we need to uh, 
uh, find whether this girl is happy mood or angry mood or a sad mood so just pause for a video for a, a couple of minutes just think about it and uh, come back here and I'll give you the answer of this uh, question then you will grasp the actual concept and what the actual difference between uh, this regression and a classification kind of problem in a supervised way of learning in a machine learning system okay okay so I hope you have figured it out uh, what is the uh, problem this individual problem lies inside whether it's a regression or a classification so if you see very first problem the uh, input is in a both the case it's uh, image so image is nothing but the set of pixels so there are huge bunch of number has been given and output will be the predict the height of the individual person so by looking at that image image is nothing but the pixel and by looking at those uh, pixel you need to figure it out what is the height of individual person so that height m can be anything it will be a uh, from four foot to seven foot somewhere around anything we can put it in to a uh, regression kind of problem because it's a continuous value but if you divide this whole set of heights into different different bins and if you become it a uh, very finite uh, set of output category it can be a classification problem uh, also but for time being we will uh, think that this kind of height is a continuous value it can be four foot one inch it can be a four foot one inch and another half inch then four foot one inch and another 3 4 inch so uh, this way it can be a very much continuous value the more precision it has it become a more and more continuous uh, value so first problem it becomes uh, lies inside this uh, regression because the height is not uh, lies into discrete category but it's uh, infinite may be possible value will exist depending on your measurement style so it's all depends on how you define the problem uh, there is ML machine learning problem lies inside this regression in a classification. the same problem you look at as a classification problem another person may look at as a regression problem so it's all depend on how you define the output so in our case the height we have considered it as a continuous value so it's become a regression but the same height if you uh, make it discrete like either this high height of this person will be any discrete step whether it's a 200 or a 500 uh, different category still it will be a, a classification problem so in our case let's consider this height as a uh, continuous value and it will be a regression problem now in a second case uh, we have been given the face of this girl and this girl looks very angry for me at least so uh, we need to predict whether girl is happy angry or in a uh, sad mood so output will be a uh, by looking at a pixel of this uh, girl's image we need to predict whether girl lies in a category one like a happy or category two like a angry or category three like a in a sad mood so uh, there is a discrete uh, sta sets of output value which is nothing but uh, either it's in a category one two or three so it lies into classification problem because classification uh, output is nothing but the finite discrete uh, category value so uh, this is all about um, the quiz on a regression in machine learning so I hope you have understood the and grasped the concept of uh, regression and classification and you got the uh, know about the difference between regression and classification so that for our further machine learning design whatever the problem has been uh, uh, given to us at least first our task is to identify that which category of machine learning system this problem lies then only we can apply the algorithm specific related to those category on the top of the data has been given so i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it